He is the only driver in the history of motorsports at Phoenix Raceway, named after him, the former namesake <laughs> of Phoenix, of a Jeff Gordon Raceway here in Phoenix, Arizona, the Hendrick Vice Chairman, Jeff Gordon. Glad to have you here at the Ignition Luncheon, helping out Phoenix Children's Hospital. Why exactly are you here though? Why is this a priority for you here today? Well, first of all, you know, Phoenix Raceway, as you mentioned, you know, it's always been a special place. I, I raced here when I was just a kid getting started before I got into NASCAR and, and I've had great moments here over the years and, and, you know, now the championship gets decided here. So it's, uh, it's great to see that continuing on, but, uh, they're also very caring about their community and, and the support that they get. Um, from people that come all over, but but right here in Phoenix, and so I uh, I was actually I came here for Barrett Jackson a few years ago, where we were auctioning off uh, a Corvette. We do a, a Corvette raffle um, every year that raises money for pediatric cancer, and uh, and and so we wanted to do an, a, a Corvette at that auction, and we, we always like to try to find who in the the local area is. Uh, is doing critical work, you know, the best work when it comes to pediatric cancer, especially in the research and the uh, treatment area. And Phoenix uh, Children's is is the first one that came to uh, our, our list and, and the research that we did. And and they and I've had a chance to spend time with them, also time with patients of theirs. And and uh, we're partnered with the with the best organization in Phoenix, which is fantastic. And uh, they continue to just raise the bar on on what they do for for people in Arizona. Um, and, and children especially that are in need of their, their care. Well, we're going to have a lot of fun today, and I know everyone's looking forward to NASCAR Championship Weekend to come back here to Phoenix the 3rd through the 6th of November. And for you, looking at it from a former driver, as a part of the media, as a part of Hendrick Motorsports, what has your view been like seeing Phoenix Raceway as the championship host the past two years, this year and next year to come as well? Yeah, I mean, that's it, it's great to see the, the, the championship race right move around. I mean, we saw it for so many years in, in Homestead, Florida, which uh, put on some great uh, events. But but then you look at the upgrades that have happened at, at Phoenix Raceway. Uh, it's just a premier racetrack location, facilities that offers the fans a, a, a great event as well as competitors. So, you know, Julie Giese and all of her, her, her staff uh, that have made this track um, truly championship caliber. Uh, it, you know, I know this year's not going to disappoint. It's going to be a heck of a battle. I, don't, I have no idea how this playoff with this new car is going to play out who who those four are going to be but it's going to be a heck of a show and uh we're, it all gets started the playoffs all get started this weekend in darlington and can't wait to be back here in 10 weeks now i wouldn't say that hendrick motorsports is necessarily dominant at phoenix raceway but you guys are two for two in championship races here in phoenix so what makes hms so strong at phoenix raceway when it matters well i think what makes our, our organization just you know, Excel in general is, is, you know, especially when there's a championship on the line, they know how to, to, you know, gather information, come together as a group, um, utilize all the people and the resources and, and our partnerships, whether it be our sponsors or whether it be our, um, you know, partnership with Chevrolet and just come together and put the absolute best effort forward. Pit crew, driver, crew chief, engineer, strategy, you name it. And, you know, they just know how to rise to the occasion. Phoenix hasn't always been our best track, but they've been able to rise to the occasion to get it done when needed at most for those uh, championships the last couple of years. Hope we can do that again this year. Now, you also have a tremendous dirt racing background as well, and you have two dirt racing entrepreneurs now at Hendrick Motorsports. Kyle Larson starting off his sprint car series with Brad Sweet. Alex Bowman has his dirt racing team going on a little bit at payment midgets as well. What kind of advice are you giving those two in terms of ownership, promotion? And do they come to you with anything or are they just going, this is the old guy on the block. I'm doing my own thing over here. <laughs> they probably say this is the old guy on the block. But, you know, I, I, I think what, what we've seen over the last several years is how supportive we are of our drivers and, and any of the racing that they're they're doing outside of it. Because um, not only does it help promote their brand, promote, you know, NASCAR and, and just short track racing in general, but I think it also hones their skill, skill sets and, and only helps them when they get into the cup car on s Saturdays or Sundays. And, and so, you know, I think it's great, whether it's dirt, whether it's short track pavement, late model racing, whatever it may be, I think, it, I think it's super cool. And I, I'm a big fan of all types of racing, and I'm a huge fan of our four drivers and, and everything that they uh, get behind the wheel of. 
And before I let you go, we got to talk about you returning to Indianapolis Motor Speedway racing in a Porsche. And for you, it's going to be your first time back to competitive racing in a couple of years. So number one, why go back and race a Porsche at maybe your favorite track? Yeah, you got a lot of history there. But on top of that, what would define a successful race for you and Ray Everham this weekend at IMS? Yeah, I mean, you nailed it, you know, getting together. With, Ray and I have talked for years about how can we come, you know, together and do something fun and 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 maybe it be competitive. So this is that opportunity. Yeah, I had a chance to, since I've stepped out of the car, I've had a chance to drive a lot of different cars, maybe not in a competitive uh, race, but certainly at a lot of different tracks around the country. And and I had a chance, you know, to drive this car, the, the Porsche Carrera Cup car. And, and you know, I, I really thought it was a, a, a car that, I've enjoyed driving a little bit more and and uh, maybe you know taking it to a to a track well uh, little did I know that was going to lead me on this path to actually you know racing a again so it's exciting for so many reasons Indianapolis is obvious choice uh, it's a spec car you know and and there might be some older guys like me out there too and and so I have no expectations I have no idea what's going to happen but uh, I'm looking forward to teaming back up with Ray and just just having a fun weekend at Indianapolis. Well, Jeff Gordon having fun on and off the track again now, and he's hoping to find victory lane as a championship team member at Phoenix Raceway November 6th.